shots were 10-4 in the first period to the Sharks, but only 1-0 in terms of scoring. Uh, I'm being joined now by a special guest, Scott, the captain of the Scorpions, who is intimately familiar with both teams here. What did you think of that first period? Oh, it's definitely an interesting period. I mean, I was surprised to see the Sharks come together a little bit, considering there's some new faces on there. I mean, I, I'm a former Street Shark alum, and so it was uh, Michael Lindemann, captain of the, the Ducks. You know, it's definitely, it's definitely strange, you know? So, uh, so far what we've seen is that the Sharks have dominated shooting. Even when they're shorthanded, they've been doing well. Uh, Ducks 0 of 2 on the power play so far. Do you think they can keep this up? I don't know. They Last year they had a problem with scoring, and scoring on the power play and even strength, you know? They're definitely a strong defensive team, and maybe if they use their defense, they'll be able to get more, of, get some uh, offensive opportunities. All right, we've got Justin, who scored the goal in the first period, taking the face off here with Richard. Uh, and it's controlled by Honey as we go forward with the second period. Thank you very much, Scott. And uh, Well, actually, let me ask you right now, your game, uh, I talked about it in the first period, an 11-7 shootout with Pravda. How did you feel at the end of the game? I honestly, I felt, honestly, I felt positive. Even though, even though we lost by four goals, I love the shot blocking, the defensive positioning. You know, we tired we tire them out a bit. It's just, you know, we just had to finish them off, you know? Yeah! And look at that! Yes! And it's Honey with the goal go, to tie it up. Took, this, took a shot and a rebound, but she was able to get it in, and we are 1-1. What do you think honey. of that? Wow. I thought Trevor would have that, considering he's one of the top, top wait, five. Wait a minute. No. Yes, it's going to count. All right. It looks for a second like he was waving it off, but not there. And we're ready to begin again. Uh, plenty of, as I said, plenty of scoring in their game. Mike, uh, with, with the three goals, he was third star for you guys. How did you feel about his performance in particular? Um, it was a beautiful game. I mean, we talked about moving up the far, but who thought that? Definitely. And uh, I guess at the end, the only lesson to take, I, I noticed that your team was tiring out near the end of the third period. That really was the difference. Uh, yeah, it was, although we did, have, we did, for the most part, we definitely had great... Oh, beautiful shot. We had, we definitely had some good line changes. We changed it up pretty good. All right. They just tired us out towards the end. Well, good luck next week, Scott. Oh, thank you. All right, that was Scott Fairchild joining us. Shots 2-0 Ducks here in this period. They are offside right now. It is 1-1. One, one. A goal by Honey makes the difference. It was Justin and Nacho. My apologies for this one. I, I can't keep track of names here. Like I said, I was. Uh, you know, this is a new team to me, unfortunately. See members of Blood Red along the sideline. I don't know if you can see them here, but it is Tracy now playing it up. Gets through everybody and is out of the zone. Sharks legally touch up shots. 2-0, as I mentioned. Now Joe to get the first shot of the period for the Sharks, and it's a good glove save by Roderick. We have 12.06 remaining here in the second period. It is 1-1. Line up here. Joe controls it. There's the shot that is saved as well. Roderick able to make some hay out of his shots. Now they're going to have Joe and Brendan take the face off. Joe's back, can't control it. Another shot, another save by Roderick. He almost, he didn't fall on it, but then was able to control it. Good hustle, good hustle. Three consecutive shots, three consecutive saves. Very well played by Roderick. Able to keep his team in the game. It is 1-1. Now clear, but not far enough back. There's a shot. There's a fourth save. All in this possession. Finally, finally the Ducks able to clear it to the other side. And this one is caught in the corner. And it's going to be ruled Ducks possession. Finally plays it up, but too far. And this one's going to go out to the other end. It looks like uh, Sarah with an easy recovery, but no, she turns it over to Joe. Joe in the middle, swing and a miss. Mike now able to control it. He's going to play it all the way down the other end. Shots 4-2 in this period. That one is not a shot, not quite on goal. Back the other way we go. Controlled in. A little confusion with line change for the Sharks. This could be an extra opportunity, but no, they're unable to take advantage. Behind the net we go. Allie playing it up. Cannot get anywhere. Now pushing it out from the bench. Mike playing control ball. This one as far as Dave trying to pass it back to Mike. Mike's able to get it through two guys, but not three. And it is clear the other way. Sharks now with the ball in the offensive zone. Looking for the pass. That one is tipped away and out of the zone. Is it out? 
No, the ref's gonna say it stayed in. Ref. Uh, we're gonna have to review that on the tape, but I think it did stay. I think that is a good call. And Sharks able to clear the other way. Five minutes into the second period here, a 1 1 tie. Now Mateo and Mike Pfeiffer gets through both of them. Adriana tries to clear it. it did it stay onside? I guess so. Shot and a save. Shot's now 5 2 in this period. Playing it around. And all the, the, the post gets kicked away. I don't know if he's aware of it. They did a rule, no problems there. Lost it, Dan. We need a face off. It's going to be in the Sharks' offensive zone now. Shots remain 5-2 in the period. Mateo tries to play it back, eventually does. There's a shot, that one is blocked out of the air by Richard. Now Honey with a chance, can't quite get around the final defender. Adriana goes down, nope, uh, just off of her own volition, so no call. Now pass it in the middle. Wide open net. Shot goes wide though. This pass in the middle of nobody. Comes around to our side. Controlled by the Sharks as they were able to keep it in on consecutive tries. Ducks were not able to keep it in, but then again, neither were the Sharks. That one goes all the way through to the goalie. Will not count as a shot as it is an offside play. Back we go. Lineup. It's going to be Justin and Richard taking the face off as I continue to learn names. Hopefully by the next time the Street Sharks are on the floor next, I will know their name. It's uh, that kind of day for me. Controlled in the corner now. Hunting of the Ducks, fighting uh, Sarah of the Sharks for it. Up the way. Long pass. That one goes through Trevor, but was wide. Now back the other way, Sharks have a chance. There's a shot, that one is saved. Beautifully done. Got a pile up on the other end as the Ducks are able to clear it. Justin controls it from behind, playing it up. Roderick will tip this one to the corner. And Joe is there first. Joe gets around Simon, there's a shot, another save. Rebound is in. Drew with the goal about halfway through the second period. And just like that, the eighth shot of the period to two for the Ducks, and it pays off. It is 2-1. Face off controlled by the Ducks. Up, up the lane now, nobody there. Simon gets it around, he can only get it as far as Cameron. Cameron sends it to the corner. We have seven minutes left here in the second period. A late goal. Ducks get credit for possession. Uh, a goal by Drew has just made this a 2-1 game. Now, shot from the point. This one is blocked before it gets through by Renee. Joe has it now. Can he put it in? That's saved by Roderick. Shots are getting lopsided here. This one is played to behind the net. Cutting around, gets through everybody. Joe now has a breakaway. Can he take advantage? Into the middle, has a teammate, can't quite get it to Cameron. Now Cam fishes it out. He's trying to get it out. We have 6.15 left. I don't know if you can see the clock from here. This one played up. Ducks able to break up the offense, but only as far as Allianz. Joe has it. Joe with a shot. That's saved by Roderick. 11 shots on goal already for the Sharks. Shots are now 21 to 6 for the game, but the effort of Roderick has kept this one close, only two to one. Mike will play this one forward and again, but it's kept in by the Sharks. Uh, I guess we'll count it as a shot. Sure, 12 2 now in this period. Another try, that one Cameron couldn't quite get to. Covers in the corner, plays it up. Mike is right there for the interception and the clear. Allie has it, trying to get around Mike, unable to do so. Another try. This one goes as far as, no, goes through, honey. Into the corner where we see Paul filling in as a goalie in game three. Purple ball, purple ball right here. In the zone, in the zone. And Honey will get free play to play it forward. Gets it to Mike. Mike with a shot, that goes wide. Barely able to clear it. And back the other way we go. 
It is controlled in the zone. Another shot. That's saved. Rebound is saved. Then cleared. Unbelievable. They're just peppering this guy. That one is wide. Not even a shot, but it was another opportunity. This one is high. No, no ruling on the high stick by Tracy. I'm sure replays will show that was the correct call. Back the other way. Allie's able to keep it in. Now, long shot. This one tips funny. Can the Sharks recover it? Ducks able to play it out to the sideline. We have four and a half left in the second period. And another shot and another save by Roderick. Unbelievable what's going on here. Roderick putting on a, a showcase here, even though he has let in one goal this period. Now back the other way, Sharks are going to have to reset. Honey trying to play it forward. And we got a high sticking on coming up on Justin again. And it will be the third power play of the game. Justin back in the box. Ducks are 0 of 2 on the power play. Let's see what happens here. Penalty called at 11-10. It will be Drew, Mateo, and Ali attempting to kill against Richard, Kevin, Sarah, and Tracy. By Richard. He's going to try and pass to the middle, can't get through the defense. Oh, Mateo nearly fumbles this one. Now Tracy with a long shot, gets through everybody. Mateo from behind, and we're going to have an offsetting penalty coming up. This one is on the Ducks. We're going to be three on three as soon as there's a touch of the ball. Play to the middle, and there's the call. And it'll be three on three. So that kills the Ducks penalty. They are 0 of 3. Uh, we'll have a minute of 3 on 3, give or take. Here we go. Three on three. This one is won by Drew. Mateo to play it up. Trying to get around everybody. Tracy has it in the corner. This has been all sharks in the second period. A fluke goal at the beginning. But since then, since Honey's goal to tie it up off a rebound, I shouldn't really call it a fluke. It was a well, it was a well time play. Uh, it has been all sharks. They've had 14 consecutive shots without reply, and it's only two to one. Wait, 15 shots actually. Now that I think about it. Now Mateo, we make number 16. Oh, we got it. all hex breaking loose here. Somebody's gonna call for something. Not sure what the call here is. It looks to be on Richard. Mateo is just upset at what happened to him. We got a trip on Richard coming up. And uh, Mateo is not in the best moods. And a little confusion here. So what's going to happen next with, with now four on two? We had to face off in the wrong place. Oh, that's right. Now with the blue penalty expired, purple is two down. That means a penalty shot to the Sharks. This will be shot number 16 if it connects. And it looks like Drew is going to take it. So Drew against Roderick here. Can he continue his great play? One of these is going to have a heck of a second period. Who's it going to be? No shot goes high. No, no shot too high. Shots remain 15 to 2. Goals remain 2 to 1 somehow. Ten seconds for power play. And the uh, second penalty is about to expire anyway. Drew is able to time his run just right, it looks like. He's got help if he needs it. Mike is able to get back and stop it. Now the Ducks are full strength. That shot is too high. We are under a minute left in the game. Or period. I keep saying that. 40 seconds to go. Looking for another chance. Can they make it three? Well, they do. It's Drew again. The 16th shot of the period, the second goal, 3 1 Sharks. Shots. With time almost running out, I would say it is, uh, it looks like it's going to finish 26 6 in terms of shots, but it's only 3 1 Sharks. They are, the Ducks are still alive. That shot, all right, 26 7. Just one last.
last shot. And that ends the period. 3-1 Sharks. Let's see what happens in the third.